Okay. Uh, in this uh, weather, uh, I recommend that you guys actually use baby powder on the connecting joint. Okay. Because it's a dry lubricant and it also prevents moisture from getting in. Okay. Powder baby. Where do they make baby powder from? Babies. Exactly. It was uh, it was invented by me, and then I had Jim to build it. So <laughs> it took me about 15 minutes to draw the plans, and it took Jim about 15 days to build it. So when you see him, say thank you. So it's a really good launch pad. It has adjustable balance, but we don't really worry about it today. But we will start worrying about it when there's actually decent weather. So. Okay, so now uh, the rail usually has dirty end and clean end. The clean end goes on the top, the dirty end goes on the bottom. But science people never observe this rule, it's all dirty now. So, but uh, okay. Okay, uh, so guys, this is the uh, launch rail. Uh, the rocket launch is either from this side or this side. So how does this look? Okay, so I wanna I think the I wanna put this one a little up. Yeah, the ground is probably yeah. Well the ground is not straight here, I can tell you that. I don't know how they play that soccer here. The yeah, outpad. So it somehow it launches the electronics already running, you get the data. It's especially uh, important with uh, if you get the more complex projects where the electronics is responsible for deploying your parachute. You don't want to hook up Ignite until your parachutes are ready to be deployed if the rocket gets going. Okay, so we power the electronics. Now if you are silent, you can listen to the altimeter and uh, it will be beeping. So now the altimeter is booting, okay? Now, usually what happens to new members here, they push the button, go launch the rocket, altimeter comes back and it says, you flew to four feet. And they say, how is that possible? And it's possible because they did not give the altimeter time to calibrate. So, once it starts beeping, is that red altimeter? It goes to silent for about 30 seconds, at which time it calibrates to uh, to the uh, atmospheric pressure around us. That's when it's measuring the altitude at the ground level. And then it goes uh, into another beeps and it beeps one times a second and that means it's ready to go. So now it's silent. So you need to wait for until it starts beeping one time a second and then it's ready to go. Hear it? Yeah. Okay, so now this is, now it's ready to go. Now you can launch the rocket and get valid data. This particular igniter, one wire to each alligator clip. And what we, what we do, you put it through, and with this one, you wrap it around to get a really good connection from the alligator clip. Those alligator clips will be getting really tired. <coughs> they will be getting uh, dirty, and they will be getting bent and everything. So always you want to the best possible connection. Right, so now this one is actually one that's easy to hook up. Now, these alligator clips, they must not touch. If they touch, 
the rocket will not launch because there's gonna be short circuit. So you can leave it like this. Uh, actually, uh, you can leave it like this. Make sure this is not touching any metal or anything. And before you go, you really wanna make sure that the rocket is still sliding nicely on the rail. Okay? So now we are. Controller, we got bigger one, but today we'll be using this one because yeah, this no. one actually works, at least I think so. At least the work I tested in workshop. Ah, uh, there's a convention you really want to remember. Okay, pressing any of these buttons will not uh, launch the rocket. So if I press the red button, nothing happens. If I press the black button, nothing happens. Okay, it's called dead man switch. So dead man cannot fall on it and launch the rocket. Well, actually, if you that you could but you need to press both buttons to launch the rocket all right now uh, the way this one works this is an interlock when you hit it you should start beeping and the red light should come on and that basically tells you that you got the ignition circuit closed and that it's working if there's something wrong with your igniter it probably won't give you any beeps is that clear okay so then for every launch you know for every launch you need to make a countdown. First you need to look around. So, and when you see that everybody's paying attention, you say, well, the range is clear. This is called range, the launch range. When it's clear, especially if we have like people who are coming here for a walk or biking or something like that, you don't want to have somebody close the racket when you launch. People get scared, then people complain, and we get kicked out. So, and, uh, so that's the first thing. You make sure that everybody on the ground is aware of the rocket launch. Uh, if that's not the true, if there's like car coming on that road, we hold the launch. We do not launch. There's not car coming on that road right now. So, uh, once you figure out that the range is clear, you look in the sky. If there's an airplane approaching, we cannot launch. Even if it's an airliner at 30,000, we have for it to wait until it passes. Okay, those are the rules. Uh, there's a guy with little Cessna who likes to come to every of our launches. So, and sometimes he just circles around and then just flies. He's really dangerous because he usually comes over those trees and you don't see him and hear him until he's right above us. So, uh, I think one thing, uh, one day we almost got him. So, it's like, <laughs> Uh, he's probably flying much higher. He's probably at two, three thousand. Uh, we are flying only two eight hundred, so there's no chance of any collision. Still, FAA requires me, you know, to observe this. If I see, uh, if you see like a flock of birds, don't launch. Uh, they really get scared, and then they start dropping uh, stuff. So, and uh, anyway, so if you figure out the sky is clear, you say sky is clear. Then you can go for the launch procedure, which is, you say launching in 5, 4, 3, 2, on 1, the black button goes down, then you hold it down, you say launch, push the red button, and wait until the rocket gets going. Because it takes a bit for the igniter to heat up and, la and uh, ignite the motor, so people are like, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, nothing. Yeah, also no. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and hold. Alright? So when the market starts going, let go. Alright, so uh, this plugs here and it's black to black and red to red. So now we